In this video, Byron's going to explain how to collect bee samples from a hive to get, it, get them tested. The really good thing about bee samples is we can actually predict whether the colony um, has American fowl brood or will come down with American fowl brood in the next six months just on the basis of the bee test. But we quite, quite often in the lab, when people take them, we, they just don't, they have problems putting enough bees in the jar. So if you follow what Byron's going to show you here, you'll find that, that whole process much easier. If during the course of your inspection you find something that you're a little concerned about, you think might be AFB, uh, the pest management plan provides a service where you can have that take a sample and have it tested. And I want to show you now just how to take a sample and the process for getting it tested at the lab. If you have a plastic bag handy for uh, collecting the sample, that'd be great. Um, again, Making sure that, that the uh, bag is correctly labelled is really important. Um, usual things on the, on the label such as your beekeeper registration number, uh, the MAF ID of the apiary and, uh, and hive details, as well as the date that the sample was taken. The easiest thing I find to do is to take a match Break the head of the match off. So you're just left with a stick. Okay. So just take your match stick, work it down into the cell, give it a good swirl around, draw it out with that larval material attached. And into your plastic bag. Ideally, if you can get three or four samples, that's great. But if it's just the one cell that you've found, just the single sample is fine. So the best idea at this stage is to close it up, mark it with something so you don't forget which hive it is, and clean and disinfect. From time to time, the management agency will send out sampling equipment in order to take bee and honey samples. The reason they do this is just to make sure that AFB is under control on a national level. So what I aim to do here is uh, essentially show you how to take a bee sample. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you're taking a bee sample is make sure that your jar is well marked. Nothing worse than getting a whole lot of unmarked jars at the lab. So make sure you get your beekeeper number down, the apiary number, and the hive number if applicable. Also make sure you've got the date, and if there's more than one sample, make sure you note down which sample number it is. Now one thing to mention here, when we're taking a bee sample, we really want to make sure that we get a sample of bees from around the brood frames. Okay, so down in the brood here. Okay, just uh, gently lift out a brood frame. The more gently we do it, the more bees actually stay on the frame. Certainly when you're taking a sample, you want to make sure that you don't get the queen. So have a look at your frame. Make sure she's not there. And what I tend to do is just sit the frame down on an angle. And you'll find that the bees will ball underneath and it makes taking the sample a whole lot easier. What I'll often do is I'll often set the frame up against the side of the hive, do a bit of an inspection, let the bees do their thing and come back and grab the B sample once the inspection's finished. Just running the jar gently up the frame, just allowing the bees to fall down into the jar. Get a few more off the other side. So Byron has given a good description on how best to collect the samples. A couple of things to remember about it though is don't leave them sitting on the uh, dashboard of your truck in the sun for a couple of weeks before you send them in um, because lots of other bacteria grow on them be, and it makes it testing very, very hard and sometimes impossible. So the best thing to do is put it in your fridge or freezer um, before you send it to the lab.